Okay, so uh, tonight I'm going to be twisting a dinosaur. Um, I think I should explain that this is what it looks like. However, this is actually not a representation of any specific dinosaur. And I, um, a kid actually pointed out to me that this was not actually a dinosaur and that no such dinosaur ever existed with a long neck and a little tail and spikes. I don't know whether this is true, but I did do a little bit of a search. I found out that this is a brontosaurus. Okay, so long tail, sorry, long tail, uh, long neck, no spikes. Um, so if you want to remember that, brontosaurus is like B, brontosaurus B, um, which means it's big but gentle. So I, I don't know if it's actually gentle. It looks kind of gentle in my picture. Um, and it doesn't have any spikes. And I think in that movie when I was a little kid, it was um, a really gentle, sweet dinosaur. So there you go. Brontosaurus looks like that. Long tail, long neck, no spikes. And a stegosaurus looks like this. Think mean. Think that he's stern. Where is it? Stern. Stegosaurus, stern. Um, he has a little, <clears throat> little head. Um, longer tail and spikes uh, all, all around. Um, yeah. Whereas my, my uh, stegobronta thing... Uh, has a long neck, a short tail, and spikes. So according to one small, very annoying child, this is not a dinosaur. Uh, but if you were to try and be more politically correct and make it look like the Stegosaurus with the uh, long tail, long tail, and the little head, and then put the spikes on it, I just don't think it would look like a dinosaur. In fact, I think it would look like the Harbour Bridge, the uh, Sydney Harbour Bridge. Uh, with the road on either side and things in the middle. I think you need a long and a short, but that's just me. I don't care what you do. Um, so this is what we're aiming for. It's two balloons. Uh, one, three, six, uh, sorry, 260. Um, with like a couple of inches in the end, you'll end up pushing that out. And then one, not fully inflated, um, 160. Um, probably like four inches in the end because otherwise you'll just be cutting it off and um, I'm not a fan of doing that so I just plan around it. Okay, so first uh, at the nozzle end you're going to do a, a little tail, a politically incorrect little tail um, and then two little feet so it's essentially just like a um, dog's head. Like that would be the the eyes and the mouth on a dog, but uh, actually turn it upside down and that's the feet and the little tail. Okay, um, then maybe like two, two hands, hand, hand lengths away, um, do a twist, and the other two little legs, just little ones because you don't want to run out of balloon, you want a big long neck, um, just to make the occasional eight year old unhappy. around so at the moment we've got uh, the bum and the front legs okay then we're just going to do another one coming back coming back down here okay, so spin it over measure it make it a little bit smaller because you're, you're wanting to conserve balloon uh, balloon make it a little bit smaller so it's like like this Okay, now that's actually my front, back, feet, um, front feet. They've come undone, that's alright, I can fix that in a second. So we'll fix that in. Alright, so now what you've got, the back feet and a little tail, the front feet, a body, and this is going to come down be the arch of the back and then the uh, the neck. So at this point, there's still some air there, but I'm just going to get rid of that because I want this to be as long as possible. Um, and I'm now going to twist it into these front feet. Now, so that you can put the spikes on, rather than just bending it and putting it in, I actually do a couple of twists so that I know where it's going to go and it kind of has some sort of like memory of, of 
what I'm doing. So I twist the three little thingamajigoos like that. They'll come undone, um, and that's fine. But then I know where I'm going uh, with the spikes. Okay. So maybe it should be a little bit more upright. That's the that's the basic body of the dinosaur. Back legs, tail, the arch that's got three little kinks in it now, uh, which you probably can't see, but I can. Three little kinks, one's there and one's there. Two little kinks, sorry, one there and one there. Um, and the head, right? And now I'm gonna get the other balloon and make the spikes, okay? So get the 160 the nozzle end and tie the nozzle end around the bum of the uh, of the dinosaur now the first loop just so that it doesn't interfere with the tail the first um, sort of bend make it little otherwise it kind of tends to get in the way so you twist this And then twist your back. I put it under the um, the arch, but you could put it over. It, but I'm sure it doesn't really matter. And there's your first loop on his back. The first piece of the spike. Fix his tail up a bit. So if this was bigger, it would just get awkward at this point. All right, and then going along, I find where I put that twist before, and it just makes it so much easier to twist again. And this spike should be good because you want to draw attention to that. And also keep in mind that uh, for me, I don't want to have any spikes on his head because I want it to be a very distinguished. That's his back, that's his head, and the head looks longer that way. Um, so I make sure that I'm only going to be left with a little bit of balloon after this huge hump spike thing at the back um, so that I don't have to cut anything off. So then, do a bit of a twist there. So I go under. Okay, and then the last one, just bend it over, turn it around. Um, now, if you can tear it off with your fingers, fine, or um, all the scissors, but. I tend to just keep going around and around and, around and um, trying to make a bit of a joke about it with the kids um, until it's in. Just have a bit of a fiddle with the spikes, make sure they're all spiky looking and in proportion a little. a dinosaur. Uh, one very politically incorrect dinosaur. Thank you.